This is uh, the Harrison Instruments 101 Minimum Theremin Kit. Uh, it's been mounted in a typical plastic project box that the user supplies. Otherwise, everything you see here comes with the kit, uh, the antenna being a separate item. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the general uh, response of the theremin. We'll turn it on and hear. You can see it's a, a pitch only theremin. The pitch goes up as your hand gets closer. This part of the uh, theremin down on the lower left of the circuit board has a little uh, zero calibration potentiometer and so uh, you want to make the little screwdriver adjustment on that potentiometer accessible somehow. Uh, on this particular one, I could have easily drilled a hole through the plastic box so a screwdriver could go in and engage that little slotted shaft on the potentiometer, but otherwise you could also get a short screwdriver in there and adjust it. It's important to have access to that so that you, when the thing is finally set up, when the theremin is finally set up, you can make it respond appropriately to the hand position. You want the sound to be absent until the hand gets about 18 inches away. And then, and then the tone goes up as you get closer. Now, one of the most common questions that we get about this kit is, can we put a rod antenna or a, a, a telescoping uh, antenna uh, on this theremin instead of the plate antenna? And the answer is yes, you can. Typically, a rod antenna that's about two feet long uh, will, will work. The disadvantage is that you will have slightly less sensing distance. So the inception of the tone will usually occur uh, when the hand is somewhat closer to the rod antenna than it would be with this flat six by six inch plate antenna. So that's basically it. This is the uh, 101 minimum theremin kit. It comes in versions where it's assembled to certain degrees so you can tailor the product to your need. Uh, it's a, a, a great kit for uh, electronic enthusiasts, people interested in a very basic theremin. And uh, that's it. Thank you.